Hello! In this video, I will talk about grading drone footage shot in D-Log using 3D LUT Creator. Special thanks to Vaklov who took the necessary shots for me. This video is taken with DJI Mavic with D-Log Profile. Saturation and contrast settings were set to zero. It is important to set the zero settings before shooting the video, since any logarithmic format implies minimal image processing. Ideally, the material from the camera sensor should be processed only by the demosaic algorithm, and then a logarithmic curve is applied. In this case, in post-processing, you can very accurately convert the material into a linear format, and then work with it almost like with a raw data. That is, you can convert it into different color spaces, change exposure, white balance, and much more. If you add some contrast or saturation while shooting, you will not be able to restore the linear color information from this, because only the camera manufacturer knows which contrast and saturation algorithms are used by the camera. Of course, these algorithms can be reverse engineered, but it doesn't make sense because it is much easier to shoot with zero settings. So let's start creating the LUT. I loaded the video to Photoshop just because it is faster to transfer pictures and LUTs back and forth in 3D LUT Creator. In real workflow, you are more likely to use DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, or something else. I start 3D LUT Creator and load a frame from Photoshop. Since it was shot in a logarithmic format, the first thing I need to do is to turn on the log decoding. In the Input Log drop-down list, I need to select DJI D-Log. In practice, it turned out that DJI's D-Log is not a standard, and for different drones series, there are different D-Log profiles. Instead of doing like Sony did and call their profiles S-Log, S-Log 2, S-Log 3, the DJI guys left just D-Log, and you have to guess where each profile is used. In 3D LUT Creator, there are three logs. The first for DJI Inspire, the last for DJI Phantom 4 Pro, and the middle one for DJI Phantom 3. And as it turned out, it is also suitable for DJI Mavic. I will select this profile. The image becomes more contrast, but the highlights are clipped, and the color is still pretty strange. I will move the white slider to reduce the highlights. Now you can proceed to get the right color. To do this, I go to the Channels tab. I need to create a color matrix that will convert the color from the primaries of the camera sensor to the primaries of sRGB or REC 709. To do this, I select the Create Color Space Transform Matrix from the drop-down menu. And in this window in the input primaries, I choose DJI Mavic. In the output primaries, I leave the item Automatic Selection by Image Profile. In this case, it is sRGB, and I click OK. The color matrix has changed, and the colors became closer to the real ones. This is the before, and that is the after. Now it needs to adjust the white balance. I will take a white balance eyedropper and try to adjust it based on the color of the wall. Now the image looks quite believable. So now I got a technically correct developing of the material shot in DJI D-Log. To show you that this is really the right develop, I will load a frame with a color target. This frame is also shot on the same drone under the direct sun, so the conditions are the same. I loaded it into 3D LUT Creator. I will place a color grid above the color target. As you can see, the exposure is different. In order to correct the exposure, I can double click on the exposure. Done. And white balance is maybe a little different. I will try to set it based on this patch. And for an exact match, you need to turn off the restore of the highlights. As you can see, the average delta E equals 3.93, which is a fairly accurate value. If you want a more exact match, then you can correct individual colors on the AB grid, such as blue and violet. But I will leave it as it is right now. I am showing that the contrast and saturation are reproduced correctly now. So let's go back to the original shot. I will load again the frame of the video from Photoshop and restore the highlights and exposure. This is the picture we got. Now all the colors are correct, 
but the picture itself is not very appealing. This is a completely normal situation. Almost any exact reproduction of color looks boring. Therefore, always in all cameras and color profiles, the contrast is added. I will also add contrast. I shift the center point of contrast to the left. And here is an acceptable picture. Now, I would like to add some stylization to the picture. I can do this on color grids and curves, but now I will use the LUTs that come with a program. I go to the menu Window, Look Manager. The program preset library opens. Let's see the different gradings. If I just click on the LUT I like, then all my color settings in the program will be reset, and the preset that I chose will load. In my case, I need to save my development and load LUT as an additional grading. Therefore, I undo the previous action, and now I will load LUT, holding Alt plus Shift keys. As you can see, the preset was loaded as an external LUT, but it goes right at the beginning of the processing pipeline. I need to put it after the logarithmic profile and white balance. Therefore, I choose here, Output. And here I have it after all development. Here is the original image in the log. Here is development. And here is the development with grading. I will choose the LUT that I like holding Alt plus Shift keys. For example, this one. So I made the LUT for DJI, which includes the proper development and film stylization. I will send this LUT to Photoshop. And let's see how the video looks like with this LUT. This is the before, and that is the after. Let's now see the advantages of the shooting in log profiles. I have material specially shot with the wrong white balance. Let's load this frame into 3D LUT Creator. I will set the white balance using the wall of the house. And I can also fix the exposure. It seems that it is sunset and it would be good to make the white balance warmer. Here is the before, and there is the after. I send LUT to Photoshop. As you can see, the logarithmic format makes it easy to change the white balance and exposure during post-processing. In the normal shooting mode, this would cause much more problems. I will repeat the steps that need to be taken to get the development from D-Log. I reset all settings. I choose the log curve that corresponds to my drone. In this case, D-Log from Phantom 3 is suitable for Mavic. Then I create a color matrix. Mavic is at the input. Auto is at the output. I set the white balance, exposure, restore highlights, add contrast, Switch the external LUT to output mode and select the appropriate stylization in the library of the presets with holding Alt plus Shift keys. Now I can correct the exposure. Done. LUT can be saved and sent to Photoshop or loaded to your video editor. That's all. I hope this video was useful. Please like, write comments if something is not clear. Bye.